Hello everyone, it's Nathan here at Memphis Studio, so welcome. So I did receive a question from Rai Ruby concerning how to create a swimming pool slide, one like this. And if I do select this, you can see that I did use the rating tool. And by far, I think this you will find as the easiest way to achieve this kind of shape that loops around. So let's get started with this video. Well, first of all, we need to decide how big this slide is going to be. And I'm going to pick a circle tool and draw something here. Let's take a radius of about 2.5 meters. That should be enough for my case. You can make it whatever size you so wish. And I have made a semicircle. So we're going to create a stair because for us to press a railing, we need to have a stair in place first. So under design, let's pick a stair tool and we are not going to change a thing, but we just space click in order to put that railing. I do not like where it is being drawn. So we can change this baseline to the other side. So now when I space click, it should be on the inside. So we are going to take that. So right now we have something like that. If see what it looks like here in 3D and you can see it right there. And that's the shape that I'm kind of going for. And this means we need a railing at this point. And for this railing, all we have to do is to go into segment and remove everything that we do not need by selecting it and clicking minus such that we get rid of it and we will just keep the top rating because that's what we need. And here we can change the size of and what I do like to show you is that we have a profiled railing, which is going to be very helpful. So when we do select that, we can see that in the rating components, we have profiles which are already available and we shall create ourselves the profile that we want to see. So let's first stay with whatever we have. And before we do leave the railing, we need to also remove the posts because they like to show up. So let's say none or none on the posts and let's place it in. We also space click to place in something like that. So let's place it in. We have something like that. And I do not like the fact that we have something here which is not right. So let's move this backward such that we have that like so. Let's now create ourselves the shape that we want to see on this thing. So for that, we go to options, element attributes and profile manager. Here we create a new profile. Let's call it a slider because that is going to be our slide. So in there, we're going to have to draw with the document tool. Let's pick a few. And what material is it going to be? For this case, I'm going to choose plastic because most of those slides are plastic. And let's make it half a meter high and about a meter wide as the outer dimension. And we can also create or chamfer or fillet it. Yes, let's fillet it 300 on this side and 300 on this side as well. So let's make a copy of this such that I am able to insert inward by about 100. And as well, I need to push this out. So what I'm trying to do is create something in between such that I subtract that shape. So now if I delete this, we have ourselves a good shape to work with, which is supposed to be saved as a railing. So be sure to save it as a railing and hit save. So now we have that shape. And the easy part is just going here in 3D, select this st stuff, go into the settings. And where I did show you about the top rail, you can change its profile to the slider because that option will be available. So when I say, okay, 
yep, that's basically the thing that I did. And although we have something straight here and um, we could uh, ease that out by using the ends. So if we go here in the ends, we can adjust what that is, maybe about 500 such that we have a curve, the music curve and put a radius of about 500 here in the sloping radius. And let's see what that looks like. If I say okay, you can see that that eases out a little bit to the outside. You can make it even longer, but I think that is enough. And I did not like what it created for us at the bottom. And by the way, I think at the bottom we don't even need uh, the easing. So I'm going to just delete it because you know we don't need it at the bottom. And that's it. So we select this thing. Uh, make it static because currently it's associated with the stair and if we delete the stair it will go but once we make it static we can now delete the stair and stay with ourselves with the railing so this is it so hope you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already give us a thumbs up if you do like and i'll see you next time